Okay, it's Saturday, June the 1st, 2013. Um, you can see the setup of my apiary in front. I, I call those hives number one on the left, two in the middle, and three on the far right hand side, and there's a new box uh, in between that. Both the new box and hive number three are actually empty at the moment. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day and the season has been very very late this year but um, I went into hive number one this morning and discovered that they were certainly looking like they're about to swarm. It's always been a very very full box um, but when I went into the brood box to do my inspection this morning there were quite a number of both capped and uncapped uh, queen cells. Certainly I saw one capped and a number of uncapped and I only basically got halfway through the brood box. So what I've decided to do is to perform an artificial swarm um, hoping that that will fill my third colony, that's the um, the third empty hive that I at the moment show over there on the right and by doing that I hope to to also fool the colony into thinking that it is already swarmed. Now how am I going to do that? We can forget hive number two in the middle and we can forget the nuke obviously. Hive number three on the right hand side is totally empty. All that has in it is 11 frames of foundation. So not drawn out, no comb, um, it, it's just literally got wax foundation as if it were a brand new hive. So what I intend to do is I intend to move the current hive number one which is the one you see on the left with the two supers on it, the one that I believe is about to swarm that has queen cells in the brood box. And I'm going to move that into the position of hive number three on the far right hand side. That will basically mean that they will be more than three feet away from their original position. And that's quite an important thing. Um, you must move bees more than three feet away from their original position, otherwise they will return to that position. So if we then rebuild hive number three that's currently on the right into the original position of hive number one, so I now have hive number one and hive number three basically switched, and then I will strip down hive number one which is effectively the swarming old colony and I need to find the queen. I will then move the queen into hive number three which will now be in the original position of the old colony and basically then as bees return to the hive, the flying bees, a bee hive is made up of flying bees and house bees, but as those flying bees return to the hive they will automatically return to the new hive now in the old position and find in there just the solitary queen they will believe hopefully that they've swarmed um, I'll put a feeder on to make sure that they can um, work their wax glands and they will then start to draw out rapidly the foundation so that the queen can then resume laying what I then need to do is in the old colony which will be on the far right hand side now I will need to break all but probably two of the current queen cells um, so that I don't encourage as those queen cells hatch I don't encourage them to fire off a, a cast swarm by taking the virgin queen and more bees so effectively just just the colony just gradually depletes and depletes and depletes as the queens hatch out so that's what I intend to do and we'll try and pick that up as we go through as you can see the bees are pretty active it's a beautiful warm day um, but when I looked at them this morning they were fairly well behaved um, so we'll just see how we go along Okay, so obviously with no bees in it, the easiest and the first thing we'll do is to dismantle hive number three on the right hand side and bring that over adjacent to hive number one um, so that we can actually build that one into its place fairly quickly. Okay, so I've now removed the brood body, the cover board and the roof from hive number three, see no reason to change the floor, I'll just move the brood box of hive number one to hive number three. So I'm going to dismantle hive number one now, um, taking off the two supers. I'll move the supers because I'm going to keep that whole hive exactly as it is. So I'm going to keep the supers over on the far right hand side now on the station of hive three. So next time we come on you'll see that I've moved those two together. 
Okay, so we've now got the hive brood body from hive number one on the left is now in position on hive number three on the right. You can see the two supers stacked up there ready to go. Of course, I've got to do an inspection now to get the queen out of that hive that's now on the right and bring it back to her original position. Um, so I'm just going to put the brood body onto that hive now so that I am in a position to put the queen in. Okay, so there we are now with the new brood body on hive number one. So that's a completely brand new brood body with just 11 frames of foundation. Over on the right hand side, I've got the original colony brood box. And what I'm gonna do now in the original colony, you can see all the bees are flying back to the new colony. What I'm gonna do now with the old colony, which is now in the far right position, is I'm gonna do a standard inspection, find the queen, catch the queen, and move her over into the hive on the right hand side. Okay, so as you can probably see now, if you can just see the yellow dot on her back, I've captured the queen in the queen catcher, and I'm now gonna deposit her into hive number one on the left hand side where all of the flying bees are returning. If we have a look at hive number one, we'll see it's looking slightly agitated and they're a little worried because they already know that there's not a queen there. So I'm just going to drop the queen in now. OK, so the original old queen is now in the new brood box and you can see it there. I've actually put a cover board on and a rapid feeder. I'm going to put um, some one to one sugar syrup in there in a moment because obviously they're going to need that to stimulate their wax glands to be able to build the foundation out so they can get her laying again very quickly but i think that hive will settle down now the next thing i've got to do now is just go over and close up hive number what is effectively the old colony on the position of hive number three on the right hand side okay so as you can see here there's a queen cell on the top of that frame. That's not actually capped at the moment. Um, they're actually busy doing it at the moment, but it is charged. I very much doubt if you can see down inside there, but there is royal jelly in there and they're very much uh, getting that one charged up and sorted. So I'm gonna leave that one. It's on frame number three, sorry, frame number four. Okay, so I've now been through what was the old colony and I've knocked down three charged queen cells and I've actually left two uncapped uh, queen cells which are charged. Um, I can see larvae and a lot of royal jelly and I've actually marked those frames if you can see there with a Q. So I know exactly where I left those charged cells but the rest of them I've actually knocked down. I'm now going to reassemble all the hives, um, put them back together and then we'll just have a recap at the end. Now just before I finally close them up, you'll see now I've put the rapid feeder on the top. Uh, the rapid feeder's got a couple of pints of uh, one to one mixture, so two pounds of sugar, two pints of water. That's just about filled that rapid feeder, but that'll get their, um, their wax glands moving and they'll start to then draw out the foundation pretty quick, we hope. Um, obviously all of this is like herding cats. Um, the bees don't read a book, but the idea is now is that that colony in hive number one on the left hand side the old colony with the old queen will believe now that they've swarmed the foundation is fresh the hive is fresh their old queen is there they're flying back to the hive they've work to do it seems like they've swarmed so you've now just got to hope that they don't abscond because they don't fancy that home the hive on the right hand side has been reassembled exactly as was so we have two charged queen cells in there not capped yet i'll check those next week to make sure they get capped we need to be very gentle with those because you don't want to damage the queens now so no shaking no banging no dragging giving them plenty of room to take the frames out but you want to be very very careful if you need to move bees then you need to blow them or you need to uh, to brush them but I put their supers back on very heavy those supers they are probably over half full each so there was a hell of a lot of weight on that one but that hive now will realize that it's queenless and will hopefully now cap those queen cells and that will be a third colony so all things being equal we'll see how we do but that's the principle of an artificial swarm Okay, final shot. 
A um, lot of activity as you can see on hive number one now which is the new hive with the old queen in the in the old position because the flying bees are now returning um, and basically finding uh, a fresh hive with foundation it's now completely done the feeders on that's not a super obviously on hive one that's just a super box to make clearance between uh, the feeder and the roof and I've put a little bit of insulation in there as well because we have still had some relatively cold nights. Um, hive number two I'm going to do an inspection on tomorrow that's going pretty well and I don't see any threat with that one at the moment but we'll take a look into her tomorrow um, once all of this is, has quietened down a little bit. Um, the nucleus as I say has got nothing in it and then the new hive number three which is actually the old hive number one has no queen in it, two charged cells. Um, we're hoping now they'll get capped and uh, the brood that's in there will be looked after and hatched. Um, all of the flying bees that come out of there will leave that hive but return to the hive on the left hand side there because that's where their navigation has always taken them. So um, hopefully it'll work. We will see.